Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we're taking a look at a LEGO Store exclusive. This is set number 40305, the LEGO Store. The set consists of 362 pieces, including two minifigures, and lots of cool details on the inside. So without any further ado, let's crack it open and check it out. Here we have it, set number 40305, the Lego store. As you can see, we have a facade of the Lego store and two minifigures. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. There are two minifigures included with this set. One of them kind of looks like me, but with hair. Hmm. Nice torso. Anyway, uh, you might think of this as a father and son. I like to think of it maybe as an uncle and nephew. <laughs> Um, but it could be an Eiffel and uh, a Seafull, I guess. I, I what do you call the child fan of Lego? Anyway, um, nothing terribly spectacular about these figures other than that really awesome torso for the adult. Um, but, uh, you know, it's cool to have a mixture of youth and adult. The uh, face prints on both are pretty good. I always like to have a, another ball cap, this time in a bright red. Um, but not too shabby. Get over that torso for the adult. So good. And this is the Lego store itself. It's a two story system and it is somewhat modular in that the top floor can be removed from the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and take a closer look. The exterior, as you can see, is a little bit plain with uh, just basically white. Uh, you have a little bit of the masonry brick along the bottom. And there's a bit of a step up as you go into the door. The Lego logo up there above the front door is a sticker. And there is a little bit of detail with these uh, frilly ornaments up here and a flag uh, just outside. If we go around to the other side, you'll notice there's an ATM, which is convenient uh, because you will need it before shopping at the Lego store. The other side, we just have a little bit of ventilation here and then the second floor above it. If we go inside, by just turning it around, and we remove the top floor to let in a bit more light. You can see here we have a cash register uh, checkout area. There is uh, the iconic uh, giant red brick uh, that doubles as a uh, kind of a, a mass bin for uh, poly bags or that type of thing. We have a pick a brick wall back here, which is a modular removable piece. If we take that out, and get a closer look and they've done a pretty good job with that then you can take cash register out as well and you can see there's a little bit of a mock or some kind of a display with some city type buildings you can see there's a tree in between the, the two uh, I guess maybe supposed to be modular buildings and through the front window you can see there are a couple of cars uh, positioned in front of them and then if we go through to the other wall you can see there are some sets on display and it's a little tough to make out on camera because I can't quite get the lens in there. But there are a couple of friend sets, a couple of city sets, and a couple of Ninjago sets, um, and a creator set too. So uh, kind of a nice sampling. The floor is just a, a studded surface. There's no um, no tiles to finish it off or anything, but uh, the whole idea of this set is to get you started and then you can use your other bricks to get creative and finish it off. And that is the first floor. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second story. Again, this is somewhat modular. We can remove the roof to let a bit more light in. And here we can see the build a minifigure area where you can create your own minifigure three packs. Over here we have a shield, which is supposed to represent one of those big foam shields that they sell as a human uh, toy so that you can pretend to be a minifigure knight or what have you. Uh, if we remove that, we can see a replica of the old wooden duck Lego toy, one of the original Lego toys. We have some other sets on display, including a creator set, a couple junior sets, and a city set. And if we remove the uh, build-a-figure, you can see there's a fire truck on display, and he's using the uh, grill piece as a, a ladder, which is kind of cool. And then Put that stuff back in there. Take a look at the exterior a little bit. We just have some windows with some yellow 
awning there. There's some red flags and the yellow awning coming down over the uh, larger windows that overlook the front of the store. So that is floor number two. Oops. <laughs> As you can see, it's uh, similar in, the, in style to the modulars where you can uh, easily remove one floor from the next. The roof is fairly straightforward. There's not a whole lot to it. There's a little bit of detailing up there at the front. Um, and then this is kind of cool. They've simulated the large 2x4 brick on the top of the store, which is kind of a fun little detail. Um, but overall, not a bad little set. Uh, I would like it to be larger. I'd like it to have more detail. There are a couple of nice design elements like the ATM included on the side. Uh, the flags are kind of a cool touch, but I just uh, would like to have a, a little bit more floor space. Another thing that kind of distracts me is that there is no stairway to get up to the second floor, no elevator or anything like that. So again, it leaves some room for your own improvement, which is part of the point, but uh, just something that uh, comes to mind. So all in all, I think this is a pretty good set, especially if you intend to modify it with some of your own pieces and imagination. If you have uh, any of the other past LEGO store sets, perhaps the LEGO minifigure factory set, or the VIP LEGO store VIP card from uh, a year or so ago, uh, those would all make some great additions to this. If you put it on maybe a 32 by 32 or 16 by 32 even, a base plate and just added some of your own bricks, you could make a, a really nice LEGO store to add to your LEGO city. This set retails for $25 and is available exclusively at LEGO stores. Uh, you can find it of course on the aftermarket through eBay and places like that, but you will pay a premium that way. Uh, but it's a, a set that's worth getting if you happen to be close to a LEGO store. Uh, it's a nice starting point for uh, some LEGO store mocks that you might want to make, and it's not too bad in its own right. All right, that about wraps it up for this one. This has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.